next on the list we have an update courtesy of BBC, it looks like the baby is getting his ass kicked, right? The baby is absolutely getting kicked from pillar to post. If ever there was a reminder that things have changed nowadays and people just don't put up with what they put up with a few years ago, this is definitely it. This is definitely a sign of the cultural shift, um, which is great to see. But again, I think there needs to be a limit to the amount of kicking one man can take, especially if you want him to learn from his mistakes and kind of grow. So this is close to the BBC. It says the baby thankful for education as more festivals drop him, right? Which is a really fun headline right thankful for education as more festivals drop him um this is the following scroll down is it scrolling come on you piece of rubbish okay there we go okay it says the following the baby has posted well, scroll down. the baby has posted an apology for his comments about the lgbt community saying he appreciates the education he has received since the u.s rapper has acknowledged that what he said was hurtful on stage and um, it comes more than two weeks it comes sorry it comes as more than two festivals have taken him off their lineups so this is the following tweet from the baby himself he said social media moves fast um so fast that people want to do de sorry demolish you before you even have the opportunity to grow educate and learn from your mistakes as a man who has had to make his own way from very difficult circumstances having people i know publicly working against me knowing that i needed was an education on these topics that guidance has been challenging i appreciate the many people who came to me with kindness who reached out to me privately to offer wisdom education and resources that's why i needed and that's why i received i want to apologize to the lgbt community for the hurtful and triggering comments i made again i apologize for my my misinformed comments about hiv and aids and i know education on this important uh, love to all god bless the baby it says after the uh, rappers of recent performance at rolling loud he made a number of negative false comments uh, regarding the lgbt community and those who have hates he asks all these members to flash the lights on their phone apart from those who are hiv positive and gay men who had sex in their cars absolutely insane he also claimed falsely that hiv will make you die in two or three weeks <laughs> those who are hiv can access medication as a result rappers dropped from the Lollapalooza over the weekend with organizers saying that the festival was found on diversity inclusion inclusivity disrespect and love since then he's been announced that he's no longer a part of governor's ball or day and night festival so by and large what do i think i think the comments themselves obviously were insane right what he said on the stage was absolutely nutty but i would say if he was smart and clever he probably could have got away with those comments if he was able to kind of you know kind of frame it around the idea of kind of being caught in the moment it being the first time he's appeared on a big stage it was a big time for him he was thinking about some of his friends whatever right it could have been somewhere he could have spun it and then at the end of it just said i sincerely apologize i meant no ill will that would have been okay i think that what really buried him was his kind of weird doubling down when he did that instagram stories video lying on his bed um and he started basically spouting off even more falsehoods even more rubbish which effectively put him in a position where he basically had no uh, place to be on these festival lineups especially if these festivals wanted to maintain some sort of um um, what do you call it social media clout relevancy or whatnot because let's not get it twisted these festivals aren't dropping in because they ethically or morally believe what he said was wrong it's just bad for business optic wise and of course it kind of has the weird byproduct of gaining them a bit of traction online making sure they're kind of on the quote-unquote right side of history and that's the only reason why they're doing these kind of things it kind of made his position untenable in that way to have the other musicians and stuff kicking while he's down is kind of in bad taste especially people like quest love and whatnot um, hip hop is built on people saying disgusting, derogatory things about people from all walks of life. For people to suddenly now, especially someone like a quest, have to suddenly kind of scoff and kind of get his you know feathers in the twist behind what the baby said is kind of disgusting the other people like elton john and madonna and whatnot all these are pop stars i don't really care about fair enough let them do their thing but in general i think another point to kind of stress that this is i i just don't think the baby actually realized how famous he actually was i think he wrongly assumed he was still i wouldn't say underground but probably not as um yeah, I guess he, he didn't he underestimated how famous he was because you just can't do certain things when you're that level of famous. You're just not allowed. It just won't run the same way as if you're somebody kind of underground or less well known. And I think because of that he kind of got a rude awakening. And then on the other side of the fact I think the LGBTQ plus community kind of had enough and wanted to kind of flex their muscles and let us re and remind us as to what their overall position is when it comes to people spouting such nonsense and in general they basically flex their muscles and remind everybody why if you want to be a real kind of global superstar you have to play nice regardless of what you privately think and again this is me saying 
that you know i generally probably do think this guy probably does have some twisted views and opinions about people that are you know from the lgbtq plus community let's not believe kind of apologies it's just apologizing because it's bad for business let's get that out of the way really really honestly i don't think you know he's got any friends who are from the lgbtq plus community either he's probably not grown around many people from that community either so let's just be honest about this sort of stuff so for sure he's got some very you know twisted opinions of people from that scene and I guess this was a reminder that if you want to be a global superstar, if you want to be like, you know, people effectively call him the, the new gen Nelly or basically a combination of Nelly and the ludicrous, kind of the new uh, pop rapper kind of guy who jumps on hooks and whatnot. He's on an Anita track, he's on a Dua Lipa track, that sort of level of rapper. If you want to be that guy, you just can't go around saying the stuff that he does. You can't go around doing the stuff that he does, you know, beating up random people on stage because they touched you, um, you know, beating up allegedly a story about some air bnb guy that he smacked up or some of his crew smacked up because you know he's there to talk back to them whatever it may be doing you just can't carry yourself in that way because you're a global superstar right you just there's just too many business in, in interests and brands and what are attached to you that will just make that kind of activity just untenable it's just not going to happen so i think it's a great wake-up call for him in terms of a career when all these festivals i think so far we've got how many festivals so far i think we've got i don't know many it sounds like many of course there's the apology and then you've got here um also news from glock topics it says the baby also dropped by midtown music festival in atlanta making it the sixth festival to drop him i think so far there's another one too right so there's six there's midtown festival there's acl festival there's day and night in vegas there's Lollapalooza, there's governor's ball and then there was park life of course in the uk that decided to drop him too and like i said i think in general, I'm not a real big fan of cancellations. I don't. I, I'm not. I'm not good on it. I think when the industry or, um, you know, powers that be, gatekeepers decide to cancel someone's career because what what they said, it can have a really detrimental effect on your career overall. Especially if you're stopped from being put on playlists and you're not being booked to these big shows, it doesn't give you the ability to reach a big audience, which effectively doesn't allow you then to make money. But obviously these places are all privately owned and festivals and whatnot if they decide collectively to kind of give him a time out and a pause for this summer at least because of what he said and how insensitive it was and how it affected a, a, a population of people that attend their shows then i definitely understand um that for that, that position that they're in but in general <laughs> it was like such a bad move such a massive faux pas that he kind of deserves it right he kind of deserves it it's kind of one of those weird places to be in where i don't want to see anyone have money taken out of their pocket i do think sometimes cancellations can go too far i do think other celebrities coming in and kicking him while he's down is disgusting or that you know shape and form whatever it may be but i still think these places probably do have a responsibility to let it be known that they're not going to stand for certain topics being discussed or said in their stages but of course there's a you know hypocrisy in there when it comes to rappers because they say some crazy stuff in the lyrics just because he said something on stage and didn't rap about it suddenly it's a problem i, I just don't know I, I think if he would have wrapped it in a verse would he have still been kicked off all these stages i'm not too sure um the fact that he said it was such vim and then doubled down in the other video probably led to the position that he's in now at the moment and again in terms of a lesson because i feel like you know the baby has been on a tear a bit he's probably calmed down recently but it seemed like every other week he was beating up somebody random i think if there was a reminder that he needed to kind of wake up and realize how famous he actually was and position that he's in and the people that depend on him because again let's let's say how many festivals is it so far i think if i'm not mistaken it's like you know it's at eight i think last time i checked is it is a space here yeah i think it's i think it's eight right so far so some, someone says eight let's say six even if it's eight right or let's six or eight it's still probably close to like already a million dollars in fees right i think in terms of appearing I've, but i think sometimes when it comes to these big festivals usually they have like a a fee that's non that's non-refundable that they basically have to pay you even if they do cancel i think maybe the stipulation the contract but i'm sure there is like a percentage they have to kind of give up front but regardless it's still costing him and his team upwards of a million dollars easy across all those festivals which again a million dollars is going to get bust down to a lot of people right everyone kind of takes a bit of it right whether it's the booking manager the tour manager the agent 
people at the label his team they're all missing out on a lot of change and as as we've seen with a lot of these american festivals they're all kind of back to back during the summer right they're all kind of um kicking off weekend week weekend to weekend weekend to weekend and they're all kind of flowing into each other and it's a great way as we saw with the tyler the creator video at lot of Palooza, it's a great way to market your tour if you're going to then promote it later on or a tour that you're going on later on maybe next year or whatnot it's a good place to kind of you know gain new audiences or gain new fans and basically make it be known that you put on a good show if someone wants to go out see you so his inability to do that this entire or summer is definitely going to affect his ticket sales i'd imagine because i just don't think he's in a position he's not he's in that weird position where he's really well known but probably not liked enough for people to kind of cap for him especially on the stuff that he said because some some fan bases you'd feel like would go above and beyond to try and excuse what their favorite artist said but he probably isn't in that position at the moment now so again maybe it's a lesson learned i still think you know people are going a bit overboard hopefully it just lasts until the summer and it just kind of dies off in the winter and he can kind of get back uh, on form where it needs to be and hopefully this could be a learning moment i don't think it is because like i said i just i just think he's saying it because he's effectively hurt in his pocket but i hope it's a learning moment in terms of how he approaches is that community in general he's forcing opinions on it and maybe this can kind of lead to some overall change in a person you never know you hope so but i doubt it but you know stranger things have happened stranger things have happened